Good afternoon. Uh, the final part of the Steampunk Lamp and covering for Wayne. Um, Wayne, unfortunately, can't do today, um, but he will be back with Saturday morning mint tomorrow evening. So, a little bit different. We do sort of need to keep it clean today because we do have... Um... Oh, no, sod it. It's just my boy. Too bad. Oh, we're <laughs> Cut. <laughs> 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 so, looking after us in the chat, we have Teabag, um, that's my boy. Uh, you have seen me in some of the lives, but, um, yep, he got woken up and told you are earworming. <laughs> yeah, so rude. I'd only been asleep eight hours, honestly. Outrageous. <laughs> Mr. Jamie Page and uh, Mr. Jake from the State Farm. Hello, y'all. <laughs> so, let's Where pop them Jake. Hmm. April very... Wilkerson. April Wilkerson. Okay. Maker's going to make. It's Explicit Wood Turner. <laughs> mm-hmm. Random right. fantasy shirt. <laughs> Jamie was fishing to so he could show his shirt. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What t shirt are you wearing, Jamie? He's wearing... Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I was actually expecting Jake to say khakis, but. <clears throat> there was. Right. So when we finished last night, we had the stem of the lamp. Um, and we had the base of the lamp that needed gluing together. Um, overnight, the fairies have been in a workshop. So, it's now together. Um, I wrapped the copper cable round uh, last night. And then I've sanded the top so you can just see the black in the texturing. So, that is the lamp so far. There ain't much of a lamp without the electrics. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to put the electrics in. Um, and then there is a bowl on the lathe that needs refinishing. Let's make sure I get the right camera. No, that's the back of me. Almost. Hey, how you doing oh. there? There we go. <laughs> so, um, I've already wired um, this bit in. So we need to thread that through. Uh, plug. We've got some feet just to go on the bottom, just so there's space for the cable to get out. And then there's a little brass mounting plate that goes on top. So what we'll do first, we will put the feet on. While I'm marking them up, the boys can let us know who's in. Am I being designated to do that? Yeah, yeah go on, Jamie. All right, okay. Let's go from the top. In from the top, we've got Woodwizardry by Colin. We've got Scott the Blue Light Turner. We have Doug Miller at Wood Spam Round. We've got Robin Copper out Wood Turning. We've got Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona. It's a whole other country. Whole other country. We have uh, we have Chris Dodds. Um, we have Robert Dolman. We have Hodgepodge. Um, who else we got out there? We have Eric Winkler is out there. We have Jennifer's Crafting Creations. We have Joey Stillblade is out there. Yeah. Hello, Joey. Um, Omidy. I think that's it for the time being because StreamYard just jumped. So I'm going to quickly scroll up in case I've missed anybody. Uh, if I did miss right. anybody, just say something and I'll read out your name. So we're also... Uh, HodgePodge is, that... is questioning, how do you fix the copper wire wrapping to the piece? Um, so what I did was I drilled a hole, uh, put a little right angle bit on it, and then I just put a thin coat of two-part epoxy underneath. Um, and then with the spindle on the lathe, I gently turned the lathe on, uh, wearing gloves, and wrapped it round. So, there you uh, go. Done. <laughs> so I'm just putting a... Um, Using a bradle just to put a pilot hole in for these screws. Actually, his name is Brad. I don't know, mate. All right. All right. Just look like one. Just look yeah. like one. <laughs> <laughs> Using my really nice um, screwdriver bit. I've got three uh, makers from Lumberjack. Totally forgot I added till I found it the other day. Nice. Nice. Everyone loves a free beat. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go. 
look to the. Have you got any links or anything that you've got? Oh, there's one pin there. I don't know what Yeah, so up, up, the top, long, Scott. up the top of the chat is a link to my buy me a coffee. Um, that today and. Which is probably buy you uh, band aids because you keep falling over. No, it's not actually. <laughs> um, the, the other part of the live today is going to be a bowl that we're going to refinish. Um, my cousin is a nurse in charge of a dementia unit in a nursing home and they're trying to build a sensory garden so the bowl's going to get given to them because they've got a fair on the 30th of this month um and any money from the buy me a coffee is also going to go towards their sensory garden for the old people right so there we go just some little rubber feet uh, from the local hardware shop Yeah, I've got to agree with you there. That one, that one, at least one of those, you very, very off. One of the feet at the bottom. Look, he said, uh, it? he said everyone with OCD is having a fit now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see uh, the bottom. Um, Chris from Baileywood Works is in. Oh, yeah, Chris. Hello there. Robert Dom says, can't look, Hodge. <laughs> Look pretty straight to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see it from my house. <laughs> I think I think what Scott's uh, trying to say is he's not everything in life has to be perfect. It's yep. random. You know, the cooks are random. Why can't the feet be random? Does the job. Next, he'll be having a hissy fit that I'm not using the screws that come in the mounting plate. You're going to put brass, uh, brass screws in with a drill bit. Well, they were crappy, horrible brass, but these gold turbo screws from Screwfix are the same colour, so guess what? Eric is um, asking, is three feet um, better for stability than four? Uh, I don't know. Could have got away with three feet, but it come with four in a pack, so guess what? He's <clears> saving that <throat> one for another lamp. Nah, just chuck them all on. You Bargain want to see his next right? lamp? He's going to use two from one packet and one from the other. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> really going to set you off. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now what we've got to do, um, this is just a corded cable. And because it's a steampunk lamp, I went for this rather than the normal gold. I just think it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Steampunky, yeah. There you go. Come on in. Robert Dunn said, if that's Scott's intention, he nailed it. Crystal says, three is cheaper than four, just saying. <laughs> He's saying, no, only put three feet, three feet in the kit that I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's turn this into a bit of a shoelace, just so you can get through that said, bottom hole. He said, how much for just one rib? <laughs> <laughs> one rib, what's the point in that? <laughs> what I should have done is got a metal coat hanger, but guess what? I forgot. Or a very small ferret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or some um, fiberglass cable pushing tools, which I do have. The only problem is they're 412 miles away. In Scotland. That would be a problem. That would be a problem. So this just got a machine thread on it. Hodgepodge has made a good point. It says three feet eliminate the chance of it rocking due to an uneven surface. Mm -hmm. There's a method behind his madness, after all. Right. I mean, there's got to be a reason people put three on that isn't just cost effective. Yeah. Yeah. Big companies buying... Like loads of things, they'll get it for half a penny each per foot. It's not going to make much of a difference to them when they can still sell it for 50 quid. Hey, listen to you. Oh, anyone, anyone think you were thinking about doing business at uni or something? I did a DCC, not doing much more from there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I got out of school as quick as I could. I mean, I got to be in it till I'm 18, so <laughs> great fun. Love I was it. fortunate that I didn't have to go back after 16. Yeah. 
So I've gone for a black plug as well because I think that's going to be more. It will match the uh, match the yeah. call it. When if you are going to make uh, table lamps to sell, one thing to bear in mind, especially in the UK, is they have to be pat tested. Um, the cable that I'm using doesn't have an earth, so pat testing it's going to be a little bit. A little bit dodgy, so this one won't be for sale. But I'm quite pleased about that because I think it's come out cool. It is cool. It's very lamp. Taken a little while to get there, but what we will say though, just to cover your back, if uh, if anyone doesn't know how to do any electrician or he's a little bit confused about what Scott's doing, is seek your local electrician. Yeah, he qualified. He may not show it. He does know what he's doing, though. He Different does. Out. Uh, Scott, he'd be surprised. He goes putting his tongue on a nine volt battery. Just you would be surprised. Button. You'd be surprised how many experts there are, there are on the internet, though, that are watching. You oh, oh yeah, we know. There's yeah, we know. so many experts on this. It's amazing. You think it'd be cheaper to do? I've wired a plug exactly once. You know, science class. <laughs> it took me like five minutes. You can't. I know. Really I know. It's uh, brownies bottom right, blue bottom left, earth straight up. Yep. yep. And most plugs you buy now will come with a little card bit that tells you where to put them. So. Yep. The only thing with this fancy cable is it's got like the fabric sleeve. Um, these are just. Um, <clears throat> cable strippers just makes it easier, quicker. Um, Hard's body saying um, he hopes you're better at this than putting on rubber feet. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> I agree. I should hope Douglas so. Mungham's in. Oh, yeah, Douglas. Douglas. You know. Three years at college and a city in guilds should, um, should make me safe to do this. And hopefully, everyone else's workshops that I've um, been well, I think you need to go back to put our conduit straight, but apart from that, you'll be all right. Look, you, always... can't out, you can't out can't from your from house. My, can't see it from my house. <laughs> I found that t-shirt coffee. the other day. There is, there is a new t-shirt going to be coming out. I've got to put it up on my Teesprings. Um, that says you can't see it from my house, but in Latin. So no one's got a clue where it's <laughs> so reading it would be like listen, you know, listening to you guys nice, yeah there you go <laughs> you're like listening to Wayne yeah <laughs> that might be a good idea actually what's that put mint into Latin no one will know what it means yeah <laughs> Mint in Latin is menta, so it might be... Check you out. Enough to out. <laughs> now, I is that you? Know. Is that you? That, is it, have, you used, have you used the uh, search bar? That is um, Google Translate. <clears throat> okay. the, um, the same thing that's giving me my um, Spanish GCC. So the other thing that you need to do as well um, is when you buy a normal 3-pin plug in the UK, it will come with a 13-amp fuse. 13 amp fuse is far too big and unsafe for a lamp. Um, the maximum you should have in there is a 3 amp. So we're going to flip out that one. And in true Blue Peter style, here's a 3 amp fuse that I am. Um... Blue Peter. Hey, that was a nice toss there. <laughs> Tuck out the toolbox earlier. All right. Uh, so... Douglas Mungham wants to know, Scott, how much did you pay the teacher for your CNG? Uh, he we, had up some, his house. we had some quite cool teachers. One of them like did something for the Ministry of Defence. One of them was just an old dude. We did what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's now plugged in. And because it's a steampunk lamp, we've got to go for a steampunk type bulb. Um, so this is just one of those old-fashioned filament bulbs. But yeah, sure you want a filament bulb for going old-fashioned. All right. 
Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Let's come back to nice. uh, let's come back to that one. So I will put pictures up later on. But there we go. One finished steampunk lamp. I've got some cogs somewhere. I could make a, a steampunk lampshade to go over it. Oh, our original thing. Mm. Yeah. I've got. I brought these ones that I was going to use on it, but yeah, the ones I said in last. Got. They're now over the workshop floor. Um, but as I said in last night's live, they're pressed metal and they don't bend very well. And when you heat them up, they tarnish and stuff. So there's the lamp finished. Let's go over to the lathe and let's do some turning. So this is a piece of ash um, that was a competition piece that I did. I don't know how long ago. Um, as you can see, it is off center. Um, I think those. I think those feet were supposed to go on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is off center. Um, which was the whole idea of the competition, but the, I didn't get very well because they said it wasn't off center enough. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to make this a wide rim bowl. Um, I do like this piece of ash. It's got some really nice coloring in it. Um, and then once the live's over, this is going to get some cowboy boots and make, cause they're having a cowboy, cowboy themed, hmm. um, fundraising thing. So. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I'm, ha I'm happy with the outside. Um, let's try and make this. A normal bowl. Has anyone else got any exciting projects coming up? We've got Saturday morning car owns tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, what have we got planned for that, Jake? There, we're going to make a awesome platter blank and then a bunch of hybrid pin blanks and handle blanks. Cool. Mm -hmm. And Jamie's going to tell jokes and dance like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah, just like every other week. Yep. The same thing we do every night, Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jen's Crafts and Creation says, Sorry, Scott, can I please see the lamp as I didn't see it as I had to wake the old man up? Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll do Jen as I'll show it at the end if that's all right. Uh, Chris does says, Scott, turn the lamp off, keep bags trying to sleep for another eight hours. I <laughs> mean, that eight hours may have been from four in the morning till um, the day, but the most I've slept for a long time. I went to bed That's... at two and got up at uh, six, I think it was. It was after two, Jamie. All right, after two. And I still went to bed and watched uh, YouTubes. <laughs> I say we were still talking at half two, weren't we? I think so, yeah. Might have been, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Jen says, that's fine, thank you. Uh, Robert Dolman's in. <laughs> Is Anita Curler. Anita Curler. Good morning, Anita. Hello, Anita. Hashtag Saturday morning cartoons, girls. Mm-hmm. So that chattering is where we're getting to the bottom of the off centre bit. get that when we start taking some more of this edge away. Getting them, getting them. Swap bowl gouge for a sharper one.
Douglas Mungham says brown envelopes go a long way. Sorry, what was that? Douglas Mungham says brown envelopes go a long way. Mm -hmm. I think that's something for Jake. That's from Douglas Mungham. On Tuesdays they do. Because that's when yeah. the postage day is. On Tuesday. We had a bunch go out this week. Sometimes I don't get the jokes right away. I only had six hours of sleep. We have got to be careful. It's not to make this a funnel. Hmm. Douglas Mungham wants to know what time it is there. It's 7.21 a.m. Since we've got uh, since we've got tea bag in the uh, on the panel today, we, I think it was time we had a, a question for the chat. Mm -hmm. So. What you got to do is uh, you got to get the name of a song or a song artist and replace a word with teabag. So instead of, uh, <laughs> for example, final countdown, you can do final teabag. <laughs> That's something entirely different. I'm going to be honest. Jake. You can go, I need a teabag. <laughs> I need a teabag. <laughs> A chain tea bag. <laughs> all in all, it's just another tea bag in the wall. <laughs> tea bag rhapsody. Mary oh. tea bag. Don't tea bag me now. Mary's <laughs> <little> tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, I wish I, had, I wish I hadn't started this game. <laughs> Please don't die in this yet, I'm gonna be honest. Are... <laughs> I can't believe you just I wish said I, that. I wish I hadn't started this game. I hate your, you I hate your right in it there. We've got Mary's little tea bag from Hodgepodge. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry, what's Defin that? Definitely your boy, Scott. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <Right>. Breathe, Scott, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Man, I've got the biggest scraper I've got in the workshop. Try not to make a funnel when he drops that one. That was a good one. It was. <laughs> Going through some queen hits there. <laughs> Who are uh, just a little tea bag? Hot body chain tea bag in the uh, tea bag in the bus go up um, go up and down. Yeah, rather than the wheels and the bus go round and round. Anita says, abort, abort. <laughs> Colin says, tie your tea bag down. <laughs> Under the tea bag. I'm trying to think of one for it. Is this the way to Amarillo? Since that's where Jake is, but hey, don't be putting tea bags over here. You leave them over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a better rim. So a little sharp edge here that I want to get rid of, and again on this edge, just in case it's going to an old folks' home. So we want to make sure it's safe. Hodgepodge says, "Great tea bags of fire." <laughs> Um, we've got um, you give love a tea bag. 
alternatively, um, you give Teabag your bad name. <laughs> Mate, I'm going to go back and look at this chat and go, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm just going through my Spotify playlist at the moment. That's cheating. Robert Dom says, Teabag to heaven. Teabag to heaven. <laughs> or alternatively, Teabag to hell. Teabag man. Costco. Stairway to teabag. <laughs> Drop it like it's teabag. <laughs> More than a teabag. I have a teabag. I think Shug would have found this game funny. Oh, yeah. There'd be a lot of Shugisms, I think. <laughs> Probably good he's not here. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hold pulled back out again with um, Highway to the Danger Teabag. <laughs> Which is effectively what <laughs> happens when your teabag split and you're running in there to try and scoop it out with a spoon or something. So you're not, I, uh, I think we should uh, enlighten everyone, Jamie, why he's called Teabag. Because he's got an, uh, uh, an affection with tea. Tea is very good. And affection is like more than just a like, right? Oh, yes. We were, be, driving up to, um, we were driving up to um, Scotland, Scotland and um, we went uh, entered Yorkshire. We were about there. We were, we were driving through Yorkshire, and the first time we'd be like, I've been here five minutes and have not found a single tea bag yet. Outrageous, isn't it? Got to get home with Scotland with 320 tea yeah. bags. <laughs> Robert Dolman with um, Bond Wait. Tea Bag. Went and started what? robbing all the carts in the hotel. Yeah, every hotel we were staying at, I, we were um, robbing the tea bag. Having to uh, misplace them, removing them, one might say. Hence the removals in the name. Yeah. <laughs> um, Douglas Mungham with um, and now the tea bag is near. Hot Frost says tea bag face. <laughs> You just call her names now. <laughs> I came here like a tea bag. <laughs> Instead of uh, do the bark man, do the tea bag. Colin says, "Who wants to live for tea bag?" I think we all do. <laughs> Joyce, what's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Mungham says Spongebob teabag uh, Joey you got to take the name of a song title and replace one word with teabag because that's uh, teabag is the name of Scott's uh, boy's name not his given name <laughs> that's just that would just be mean Tiny little bit of tear out in the bottom there. Old oh, um, knocking tea bags. <laughs> we could have sweet tea bag of mine. It's raining tea bags. <laughs> it's raining tea bags. YMC tea bag. <laughs> And tea bag in the dark. Hodge Fog, uh, I've got tea bags in low places. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um, would we be by calling this another one bites the tea bag? That's going to be like some sort of weirdo biting teabag. 
strong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you see there is a uh, dot? Uh, he Uh oh. Moment. I think both Scott and uh, Teabag are getting a bit haywire at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, well, we're good. Gives <laughs> you just us. Yeah, hey, well. I can hear you. Okay, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're freezing up a bit, mate. I, I think uh, T-Bag is as well. T-Bag yeah, is as well. Thought we had Mark Ill in here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can see you, but you're freezing up. Hey, can I? We can I, can, you. I can see you. Can you hear me? <laughs> here we are, maybe. Would you like back on says, I need a tea bag? <laughs> Hodgepodge says, we will tea bag you. I thought they were going to say something earlier, like, only steers and tea bags come from Texas, and I don't see any horns on you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> don't look like All right. That's a pretty bit of ash. Why have we said totally yeah. eclipse of the tea bag? <laughs> Where's Ash? Chris does it. Scott must have the same internet as uh, Brian. Mm -hmm. It's normally all right. We're doing better now. So this is Seems just a bit of uh, denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol. Or well, methylated spirits. Denatured have to die alcohol. in this country. Because people, people want to drink, drink it. it. Don't stop oh. them, though. I mean, yeah, nothing's going to stop them, <laughs> is it? Weathering tea bag. What's that Kate Bush one that's in the um, charts at the moment? Running up the hill. Yeah, running tea up the bag. hill. <laughs> tea bag it up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Polish to ash. I need a colour, says tea bags in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on tea bag. <laughs> mm. Now do we leave the rim au naturel or do we put some colour on it? You can bleach it. Killing me softly with your tea bag. You got that Nirvana, Nirvana classic. Come as your tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's leave it on that trail. <clears throat> Gives me a choice of um. I would do anything for tea bag, but I won't do that. Yeah, that's a good one. So Hit me um, with your best tea bag. A bit Ooh. of cellulose sanding sealer. Oh, nice. What does that do, Jamie? What does that do, Scott? It's a, it's a conversation starter, Scott. <laughs> so whilst uh, whilst people are still uh, whilst still uh, people are still uh, doing that, I want to quickly run down the, the playlist of the, uh, the craft festival, which is going on on the twenty third of this month. So the show will start off with me at ten o'clock over on my channel, then it will go to uh, Craft uh, of Ellen. Then Scott the Blue Light Turner. Then Kevin the Spirit turning. and Bear. What? The won't be turning. Okay, uh, he's um, going to go over to Scott the need... Blue Light, whatever he's going to be doing. Yeah, you need yep. to change your name. Then. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it says for Blue Light Turner's <laughs> workshop. Scott the Blue Light Teabagger. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're off to Kez from Spirit and Bear. Then we're off mm -hmm. to Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner. Then we're off to Heidi from Whitehall Pottery. Then we're off to Jake from State Farm and me for Saturday morning cartoons. Yes. Then we are off to Tim from the Urban Forge. Then Steve from SK Crafts. Then we go to Sarah from Wartooth Designs. 
Uh, then we go to Wayne the Wood Turner. Then we go to Art of Fire for some glass blowing. Then we go to Jacob from Jack Top Leatherworks. Then we go to Joey from Still Blade Woodworks. Then we go to Scott Hampton of Hampton's Wood Turnings. Then we finish up the day with Carl Jacobson. Okay. Um, this is just a Yorkshire grip, so I've sanded T40. We've applied sanding sealer, and now we're just putting on some of the finest wood turners abrasive paste. That stuff works beautifully. With hands that feel pity, can be soft as your face. With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. I'll tell you what, we're going to do the back as well. Uh, what else? What other names we got here? Uh, uh, what else? We got? Got the the says, easy on tea bag. Doug Lickie Garskin, um, he's got you showing how to tumble on your spot. No, I've, I've got a couple of ideas. Um, there may, may, <coughs> if I can get it worked out, be a little bit of welding with some horseshoes. And um, I wish I had a, um, a new name suggestion of Scott, the um, dodgy electrician. <laughs> yeah, just just title the video How to Keep a Secret. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm really grateful for being invited back, um, but this work, uh, you know, it's the Blue Light Turners workshop, and the workshop is evolving, you know. There's scroll saws in here, there's welders in here, there's coy cup for leather, um, not for leather, for vinyl stuff, um, so I might mix it up. Not 100% sure yet. And you've also got an evil laser. Mm. Yes, a laser. Laser because beam. it's an evil laser. <laughs> yes, because I want you to frickin' laser <laughs> <laughs> on frickin' sharks. <laughs> sharks with laser beams. Yeah. Uh, Hodgepodge says 99 tea bags. That's like, that's like a day for tea bag. 99 red tea bags. Hmm. I've done like eight tea, eight cups of tea in a day before. Is that it? it? Firstly, they were like, the cups were like twice the size of a normal mug. So at this point it's 16, and secondly it was between nine and like four. They, they, weren't, so. they weren't cups of tea, they were buckets. Effectively. Uh, we, we have a whole shelf in our kitchen. For uh, different teas, like green tea. Devoted to tea bags. Oh yeah, yeah no, I'm you know. English breakfast tea. That, no, that all all really I get is one coffee caddy full of coffee. So there we go. Here's a question for the chat then. If you're a tea drinker, what is your favourite brand of tea? See if there's some there that tea bags answer. never heard of. See if there's some that uh, tea bags have never heard of. So, that's the Yorkshire grit worked in with the same bit of paper we applied it. Now I've got a clean bit of cloth. Ramp up the speed a little bit. Chris said coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, I but it has... I've heard of that one, just about. Maybe once or twice. There's so much sugar in it, you got to chew it. Yeah, there you go. Sweet tea. Yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to get tea bag to the states for sweet tea. I tried it. I didn't like it. That is not. It doesn't sound right. I'm gonna be honest. The tea, the tea didn't like you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. I've never been a massive tea drinker. Never actually. I've never been a tea drinker. Nah. <laughs> I drink more tea than water. Coffee. Hodgepodge says, if I get, if I had to choose, I'll get shaved. Mm -hmm. I guess he's talking about the leaf. I think he's talking about the bag. It comes in. <laughs> no, I've never heard of Naruda tea, actually. Have Never. you seen, Naruda. Naruda. I don't know if you've got me in the States, but have you seen the new uh, coffee bags they're doing? So mm. rather than have a tea in your bag, they're putting like ground up coffee in there. What's wrong? What so like filter coffee but in a bag? 
Yeah. Hmm. I've only seen it at Polo, and you know, Polo's where all the posh people go, but don't make a decent cup. Why have we said apple tea? I do I do love a good um, fruit tea. Uh, Doug wants to my wife was getting for half a pound of loose tea a week. Hmm. To be fair, I could, I could probably do that by myself. <laughs> so, second to last trip to Scotland, I brought tea bags, or what I thought were tea bags, back for George. Uh, oh, but we've now, grams. That's easy. Easy we've now had to buy him a teapot because it was loose leaf tea. He's still not telling me what the winning lottery numbers are, so I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, Douglas Mungo says, Scott Aldi do coffee bags. It's Aldi, though. Right. So We've that's... got an Aldi near us. Got a couple of them. That's chestnuts, microcrystalline wax. Now, because it's hot, um, that's quite soft. Normally, with microcrystalline, you like to put it on, leave it for 10 minutes, let all the vapours evaporate, and then you'll get a much oh. better finish. Hodgepodge says, my wife buys this tea that comes in a jar and it's like a jelly. It's like an Asian thing. Yeah, I've heard of that. I think, I think I've heard of that. Sounds familiar, at least. Robert Asian... says, white tea. Asian tea. Crystal says they tried them coffee bags here. They're about as popular as a fart in a spacesuit. Yeah, they're just... They're wrong. I didn't think they'd be that good. <laughs> they don't even make a decent cup of coffee. <clears throat> I'll tell you the coffee that I've, I've actually bought that is really, really nice. And that's uh, Ben Crow's coffee. What, from Crimson Guitars? Yeah, he does his own coffee now. Oh, really, really, really strong. I might have to try that because I normally buy a uh, scroll crusher. All right, uh, that's my that's a really strong coffee. Um, I won't tell you what it says on the uh, packet or on their merchandise because you know it is the afternoon. That's We're not after it. the watershed. I have to have a look. Jenny, Jenny, um, Jenny. It's like, it's like, Jenny, 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 how you doing, girl? How you Jenny. doing? Hey, so, how you as doing? I said, because, because it's hot, <laughs> normally um, I'd leave it and you'd get a much better finish. Um, what I'm going to do is just give it a couple thin coats and that will build up. Build up the shine. And it'll mm. also help with a smoother surface. Um, for the vinyl decals that I'm going to put on it this afternoon to make it a bit cowboy. I don't know what I'm going to put on there yet, but maybe a Stetson. I was wondering whether there was something I could do with a grain. I don't know. Could have. Mm. Well, you want to do cowboyish? Oh, put a little. Oh, no. well, you, you got like uh, you got uh, obviously horses. Boots, uh, hats, Stetsons, uh, a cart, some horns, horns, yeah, yeah, yeah so... <laughs> I'm just going to put some, cow, there you go, stuff. cow skull, yeah, put some, uh, put some recommendations in the chat for Scott, in actual fact, put some recommendations in the comments down below for Scott, yeah, free and it doesn't cost anything, um, mm -hmm. And it'll also help out Scott's channel with uh, interact being interactive uh, by leaving comments. Uh, even if you don't want to leave a, 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 a comment for giving him some recommendations, just leave a comment anyway. Leave him uh, the cowboy emoji. Yeah. So it'd be alright if them, um, them ones that we don't like getting comment <laughs> wise. Cowpat. Cowpat. Yeah. Cow <laughs> hey, I made your bow. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anita says it's a deal of the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, free and free. 
Hodge Bush says a Dallas Cowboys star logo. He doesn't want to ruin it. 15 minutes to the hour. Yeah, why would you want to do that? The hour. Why would you want to do that to that? All right, let's turn off that extractor. I said that because I know Joey's out there somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, look at that shine. That's nice. Colin said a lasso. Oh, right. Let's come back to Ugly Cam. No kilt today. Mark Shorten's in. Hello, Mark. I am Mark. Right. Do that. So, we've just repurposed or refinished this ash bowl. Um, as I said, this will get some cowboy decals on it later, make it a little bit cowboy, um, and that's going to get donated to the nursing home for their cowboy event. Nice. Um, but the PS star resistance um, is a steampunk lamp. That is super I cool. Absolutely love that. Um, Douglas Mungle says, really shiny ash. Oh my. I don't know how well the um, you can get the texture in, but I will put up some pictures later on. Um, it's done. It's finished. It's only been three lives, but hey ho, it's been a fun project. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's bring uh -huh. everyone back on screen. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know. Look, look, look at the tea bag. Have you I written a song on that piano yet, well. behind you? Huh? His name just got up. Oh, I said, have you written a tea bag song yet? No, not yet. No. So I'm going to call it there, guys. Um, it is now 84 degrees in this workshop. It's a bit warm, and there's a yeah, pool in the garden. A lot hotter tomorrow. Um, yeah, there's a Monday pool in the Tuesday. garden, and there's some beers in the fridge. Um, guess where I'm going? Thank you right so my, much, right my friend here. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, put it in there. Um, <laughs> nearly forgot there. Jamie's got a premiere starting straight after this live. So please head over, check that out. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, it's all free. It's all good interaction. Uh, this evening is Steve SK. Tomorrow afternoon is Saturday morning cartoons at 4 mm -hmm. o'clock. And then mm -hmm. Wayne will be back for Saturday morning mint at 8 o'clock. Nice. I'm going to be watching Saturday morning cartoons from a polo field. Ooh, nice. fancy. Yes, fancy. On the work mm. iPad. I'm not using my data. <laughs> right. You Thank you, everyone, for coming in. And uh, as I said, there won't be a live from me on Thursday because I'm working. But I am going to try and put out a funny live of my recent trip to Scotland, um, where we went on tour with some other makers. And yeah, let you see yeah. some of the bits we come up with. I'm working on a picture at the moment that was taken that needs to go on another famous picture. But you'll see. You say in Daddy, you adopted. Guy looks so much better than you. It's the age, you see. <clears throat> He's got it's all about 20 years on me, give or, 20, 24, give or take. Um, and he's lost most of his hair and the rest of it's grey. It's your fault. <laughs> right, and, and, you know, make fun of him. It's you your know, fault. <laughs> you know your pocket money and your internet data and everything else you get. Say goodbye to it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, Dad. I do a lot for you as well. Oh, is this a Turner Channel? They're famous. End it. Man. End it. Oh, End it. it. End it. <laughs> See you all later. <laughs> <laughs>